Hi, I'm Andy Ian Bell from Member RT121, and I'm here at Robbie Burns' birthplace museum to tell you all how to enjoy whiskey. In this video, we'll be going through the correct way of storing your whiskey, just so that you can enjoy it later on in life. So the first thing you have to think of when you're storing your whiskey is exactly where you're going to put it. The best place is trying to find a darkened cupboard. You're wanting to try and avoid any direct sunlight, any overpowering heat, and mostly try and keep it in the upright position. The most fatal flaw that people do is storing whiskey, storing it on its side, which is an absolute no-no. The alcohol will burn through into the cork, which will slowly start to cause evaporation. And the more it evaporates, the less whiskey you'll have at the end of the day. The main reason that we should be trying to avoid the direct light, uh, particularly sunlight, is particularly bad, and the heat, is the bottles aren't entirely designed to be able to reflect off everything that's hitting at them. And this lovely, lovely, beautiful spirit that you've got sitting here, it is very volatile and it will react to all the actual changes in the atmosphere. And again, you don't want to get any of this go to waste. The angels have already had their share. Now I'm often quite asked, what is a good place for storing your whiskey? Well, far away from your friends who drink your whiskey is the first answer. But mostly, I actually have a fantastic cupboard at home that has nowhere near any of the direct uh, heaters, but still has a lock on it. Very important to have a lock on it. Now for any of you guys out there who are collectors, the best place to actually store it is in sealed cardboard boxes. Now, first of all, it takes away the temptation from yourself from drinking it, but secondly, it again controls the atmosphere the bottle will be in. Now, personally, I keep mine sealed in boxes and locked in the loft, again, away from many changes in temperatures, which is going to lead to a very, very good investment long term. Another very handy, handy tip is to avoid storing it anywhere where it could possibly fall down. The last thing you want to do is actually break a bottle because that will be tears before bedtime for all involved. Also, take very good care around the top of the bottle. The second this gets a wee nick into it, evaporation can start again. However, whenever mine gets a nick in it, it gets start to get drunk. And that's how to store whiskey.